Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, Astros left fielder NDH Michael Brantley has decided to retire. As I'm not a lot, this is a little bit of a surprise. It's not a lot, it's not a surprise that he's not returned to the Astros. That was fully expected, but I thought he would go one more season. But you know, I think a part of him, in just my opinion, probably what he was thinking is, you know, if I'm not, if not going, if I'm not going back to Houston. You know, I, I, you know, I don't want to play anymore because, you know, he said something about his family wanting to be with his family and being with them twenty four seven, focusing more on that with his life, which his family does live in Houston. I actually even uh, on Father's Day, uh, in two thousand twenty three last year, I ran into Michael Brantley and his family as uh, going into a restaurant. I was my me and my family were walking in and he was walking out so his family lives here and i don't think he wanted to go somewhere else and play and having to move his family and especially at his age and the injuries he's dealt with and a great career for michael brantley though silver slugger one time silver slugger five time all-star one time world series champion at 36 years old he's played 15 seasons um two or sorry yeah two of those five all-star appearances were the, were the Astros. In his 15 seasons, he played in 1,445 games with 6,149 plate appearances, 5,566 at-bats, 758 runs scored, 1,656 hits, 348 doubles, 25 triples, 129 home runs, 720 RBIs, 125 stolen bases, struck out 658 times, and nearly had a 300 batting average in his career. His final batting average of his career was 298, and his OPS nearly 800 at 794. Um, You know, I would love the potential opportunity for Michael Brantley to return to Houston to potentially, you know, maybe become, you know, a coach for the Astros uh, in no, it won't be this season, 2024. Astros have already announced their their uh, their you know coaching staff for um, the next season. Also, I think Michael Brantley is going to take a year off, be with his family, all that stuff. Um, you know, take a year off without baseball. He's been it's been baseball for him for 15 years now. So I think he's going to take a year off, and uh, maybe the Astros keep the door open for him to return to the Astros in 2025. The 2025 season as a coach, I don't know what his job would be, but I'll tell you what, one of the one of the worst things was, you know, with Michael Brantley leaving Houston, I wasn't missing the player that we had. Obviously, he was a great player. You know, he was an efficient hitter. He he stepped up for us. He was a good outfielder as well. But, you know, you're going to miss what he did for you. But I was also, you know, I think this, you know, this clubhouse – he was great for this clubhouse. I think that's something that's going to be very missed. You know, he was a great guy to have around this clubhouse, um, a great mentor for the young guys, the younger guys. That you know, with him being a vet at thirty six years old, a good guy, a funny guy as well. And I think this clubhouse is going to really miss him. I really do. Even though he wasn't active much in the last two seasons, only played fifteen games in two thousand twenty three. Uh, really didn't get healthy until the end of the season. And then once he came back, then he missed some time. Then he came back to the end of the season, then played for the Astros in the postseason and did solid in the postseason. Uh, and then the 2022 season, played 64 games before he got hurt. So, yeah, 2021, 2020, 2019, he played a lot. Played um, 2020, played 46 out of the 62 games that the Astros played in 2021. Played 121 out of the... Uh, 162 games we played in, and 2019 played 148 games out of the 162 we played in, um, and then 2022 and 2023 injuries just started to kill him as he got down there in age, and um, it's, it's you know definitely he's still a good player, he's still a good outfielder, he's still a good hitter, a good efficient hitter, uh, doesn't you know doesn't have a lot of home run power, but uh, still is a very efficient hitter who you do not see make a lot of mistakes when he is at the plate. You do not see him strike out often at all, and it is very rare for him to strike out twice in a game, um, or at least when he's been with the Astros. Um, and you know, an efficient hitter who hits really well, and you know, hits well often, uh, not never really is inefficient. And 
Uh, I think this lineup is, is kind of, even though he's been injured the last couple of years, I think they're going to miss him. But, you know, if the Astros are not going to pick up anybody in free agency, I think you have a good guy like Mauricio Dubon to replace him. And then you got Chas, Chas McCormick in center field for the Astros. So, uh, well, I think it will be interesting to see, to see who plays left and who plays center. It could be either or. Chas can play left and Dubon can play center. Or Dubon can play left and Chas can play center. And, or they could just switch it off day by day. That will be interesting. Or maybe Jake Myers gets some playing time as well. Or maybe the Astros sign somebody. You'll never know. I think the way with this offseason, you know, looking near mid-January or getting soon before you know it, it'll be mid-January. Um, then before you know it, it'll be almost time for spring training. Will the Astros make a move for an outfielder? So maybe it's looking like to me right now, Dubon and McCormick are going to be the two outfielders at left and, and center. And then, of course, you have Tucker at right. That's that's without a question. I think, you know, obviously McCormick and uh, Dubon, those are question marks. I think McCormick will for sure be a starter just where. Is he in left? Is he in is he in center? Um, you know, Dubon, that's a question mark. Do we pick somebody else up? But, you know, congrats to Michael Brantley in retirement. He, he was a tremendous help here uh, from... 2019 through 2021 uh and he was great in 2022 and 2023 he was great in 2022 before he got injured and just besides the locker room help didn't really you know and and I, I hate to say this because if Brantley was healthy in that 2022 postseason I think he would have been amazing for us in the postseason 2022 I think we, 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 we would have been even better than we were in that postseason with him than compared to without him, but he did not play. He was a great locker room presence. He was great before he got injured, and then 2023, he was good when he played, but he only played 15 games, but from 2019 through 2020 when he was great for the Astros, in his five years with the Astros, he played in 394 games with 1,666 plate appearances with 1,500 11 at bats, scored 215 runs with uh, 215 runs with 461 hits, 100 doubles with six triples, 42 home runs with 192 RBIs, had only seven stolen bases, and um, he had 134 walks, only struck out 179 times, um, and had a batting average of 305 with the Astros and an OPS of 828. So yeah, speaking for all Astros fans, all Astros community, you will be missed, Uncle Mike, and maybe someday there will be a, a chance for a reunion with you to potentially become a coach. Because I'm telling you, all of you, this right now, Michael Brantley will become a good a good coach. I don't know what where you know you know what he would coach, but um, I think Brantley it, he has some future with with Major League Baseball. Whether it's becoming a you know a you know becoming a broadcaster, you know, was either as a, you know, actually broadcasting games or, you know, talking about it, you know, like you see people, you know, likely like you see, you know, people do at, you know, talking about like, like maybe doing something on MLB network or becoming a coach, uh, for a clubhouse. So I think Brantley has a good future, um, as you know, to, to do something outside, uh, you know, after his career to do something in Major League Baseball. And, you know, even if he didn't, I still think, you know, what a what a career for Michael Brantley. I mean, I mean I'm still very surprised that he's retired and because I thought he could go one more year. I really did. And I thought he was going to go one more year, but um, he decided not to. Injuries were really bad for him, which I understand that. Uh, it was really bad in this last year. Setback after setback for Michael Brantley in 2023. So I really do understand why Michael Brantley is deciding to call it quits after 15 seasons. But what a career for him. Let me know your thoughts on the retirement in the comment section. And peace out.